It's my honor and privilege to present the Vice Chancellor's Progress Report on the occasion of the second convocation of the Shivnath University. Established by an act of the state of Uttar Pradesh, the Shivnath University began operations on the 18th of August, 2011, with 265 undergraduate students pursuing degrees in five engineering majors and mathematics and a single master's student. <clears throat> now in our fifth year, the university has grown considerably in scale and scope. Today we have 1,793 students enrolled at the university coming from 27 states and union territories in the country, 1,534 undergraduates, 132 masters, 13 postgraduate diploma, and 114 doctoral students across four schools, schools of humanities and social sciences, natural sciences, engineering, and management and entrepreneurship. These schools host 16 academic departments, ranging from electrical engineering to English, from physics to marketing, from economics to computer science. We have recently launched a fifth school, the School of Extended Education and Professional Development, which is focused on extending the reach of the university by offering short duration educational and training programs to individuals, companies, and governmental and non-governmental organizations. It's a great moment for us to remind ourselves of the goals we started with. As you have heard many times since morning, Shivnanda University is designed as a comprehensive, multidisciplinary, research-focused, and student-centric university, which is unique in the country. The mission of the university is to develop and educate the path shapers of tomorrow, who can shoulder the challenges of globally responsible and ethical leadership in the 21st century. The university is envisaged to be an enduring global center, much beyond the lifetime of all of us. A, an enduring global center of excellence in higher education, which is anchored in research and innovation, driven by an outstanding faculty, some of you are present here, and supported by national and international academic partnerships. After a remarkable beginning in 2011, and a phenomenal growth in the first few years, the university can truly boast of a multidisciplinary character. And in this setting, the academic programs have started flourishing on progressive interdisciplinarity and research-led learning. The undergraduate curriculum at the Shivnath University has a broad-based common core with flexibility to allow students to explore, to find their passion. This is for enhanced breadth of learning and engagement, and for the, for the students then to acquire the depth in a major subject of their choice. Not only the, our curriculum, but the teaching learning process followed at the university is forward looking. A major component of the mission of the university is to actively engage faculty and students in the process of creating knowledge, not just disseminating it. Research is an integral part of the pedagogy at the university where the students learn by doing. This was echoed in the speech of the Honorable President of India, Sri Pranav Mukherjee, when he inaugurated the university and dedicated it to the nation on 18th of January this year. I, and I quote, the university has adopted a distinct curriculum to nurture students for the exciting opportunities of tomorrow. Its unique approach has the potential to positively influence the higher education landscape of our country in the next two or to three decades, and I quote, unquote. All students are admitted here on merit through a rigorous admission process conducted by the university. Over 85% of our undergraduates and postgraduate students receive some form of scholarship or financial aid, and all our doctoral students receive stipends and tuition fee waivers. Research at the university is not limited to faculty and doctoral students. As was mentioned by our Honorable Chancellor, we are now in the second year of our unique opportunities for undergraduate research, fondly called our program, OUR, which has opened the door for our undergraduate students to conduct original research with faculty outside the regular curriculum. In its second year, more than 70 projects have been funded, 
and the results will be presented in the second undergraduate conference to be held early next week, 9th and 10th of this month. The university is now registered with the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, DSIR, Government of India. This is a recognition of the fact the university is indeed a research institution. The university facilitates research, scholarly and creative endeavors that contribute to the creation of new knowledge at the frontiers of specialized areas, as well as at the interface of diverse disciplines. Several research centers at the university are engaged in such interdisciplinary work at the Center for Public Affairs and Critical Theory, the Big Data Analytics Center, the Center for Emerging Societies, and the Center for Informatics. The latest in the list is the Center for Environmental Sciences and Engineering, which will have a strong multidisciplinary thrust on research, education, and outreach in environmental sciences, engineering, and sustainability in keeping with the global demand. As you have seen on this sprawling 256-acre campus, the university has invested heavily on state-of-the-art laboratories, studios, classrooms, the library, student hostels, dining and sports facilities. This university never sleeps. The research support facilities run 24-7. Our commitment to research is reaffirmed with an internal research investment of about 200 crores to date and additional 550 crores year marked over the next three years. Our faculty members come from the best of universities of India and the world. On joining the university, the system nurtures them and provides the best of opportunities, which has resulted in our faculty already publishing over 350 journal articles, 88 books and chapters in books, 381 conference papers, the number is increasing as I speak, holding 85 exhibitions and performances and having attracted a total external funding of 12.2 crores in 39 research projects. The Department of Mathematics, School of Natural Sciences has received the first funding from the Department of Science and Technology, the first to come at SNU. Some of the research work have become worthy news items already. A team of researchers led by Dr. Gauri Prasanna Roy, Department of Chemistry, School of Natural Sciences, has discovered a compound that can reverse the effects of environmental mercury poisoning. Another team led by Dr. Shailaja Singh, Department of Life Sciences, School of Natural Sciences, has discovered a novel class of anti-malarial and anti-leishmanial compounds inspired by nature. The breakthrough involves elimination of the parasite by first identifying and then targeting a basic toxin-like protein in the parasite, which is essential for its proliferation and transmission. Our faculty members have received due recognition accolades, including the DBT Innovative Young Biotechnologies Awards, INSA Medal for Young Scientists, DBT Ramalinga Swami Fellowships, DST Inspire Faculty Awards, INSA Aryabhata Medal, Rajiv Gandhi Gold Medal, Indus Foundation Award for Research Excellence, and so on. And I take immense pride in informing you that our first two patent applications have been filed, one from the School of Engineering and one from the School of Natural Sciences. At Shivnada University, we are building global partnerships with some of the best institutions around the world, including Carnegie Mellon University, Duke University, the University of Pennsylvania, Babson College, Queens University, and Network N plus one institutions for an accelerated path towards our goal. The Shivnada University, Duke University Research Collaboration is a model program between the two universities under which currently four joint research projects are running supported by both the institutions on equal partnership. The university is part of the international collaborative project titled Enhancing Quality, Access, and Governance of Undergraduate Education in India, acronymed EQUAL, funded by the European Union and British Council. The 1.17 million euro project is being implemented by a consortium of partners, uh, including Ambedkar University, Jadapur University, King's College, led by Shivnath University, the University of Bologna, and the University of Hyderabad. The consortium has the task of creating open educational resources in four key disciplines, critical thinking, cultural studies, human ecology, natural resource management, and sustainable development. 
There have been many distinguished visitors and seminar speakers on our campus. On 18th February 2016, the university organized an innovative, enriching, and interactive first academic writing workshop amidst a high-spirited gathering of teachers and writers from universities across India and abroad. The workshop had an exciting participation of nearly 100 participants from 17 institutions, majority being faculty and students among the researchers and staff. Recently, an international office has been set up at the university to enable collaborations and exchange programs with our existing or potential international partners, liaison with emb embassies and international funding agencies as necessary, and facilitate international recruitment and placement. The university has an active institutional biosafety committee approved by the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. This IBSC is mandatory in any organization which intends to carry out or in, engage in research activities involving genetic manipulation of materials, microorganisms, plants, or animals. The university has constituted its first institutional ethics committee, which is required to review and approve all types of research proposals involving human participants, look, looking into aspects of informed consent process, risk to benefit ratio, distribution of burden, et cetera, before the start of any such study, as well as monitor the research till completion. The university has now established an internal quality assurance cell in accordance with the guidelines of the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. The main function of the IQAC is the development and application of quality benchmarks or parameters for various academic and administrative activities of the university. For our students in this residential campus, learning exchange beyond the classrooms. The students are engaged in activities of various clubs and professional societies, I would like to also highlight our flagship initiative, the on-campus jobs program, to inculcate in our students a sense of responsibility and work ethics. Under this program, students may work up to 20 hours per week in various offices and projects at the university. Over 150 jobs are available on campus. More than one third of our students have participated in the on-campus job program so far. Our curricula underscore experiential and applied learning the university's great career development center, CDC, is creating a network of sustained and external engagement involving internships, service learning projects, and an innovative mentorship program through which our students are mentored by leaders in industry, government, and civil society organizations. The CDC supports students in shaping and managing their careers effectively by helping them identify career choices providing insights into the latest industry trends, arranging industry conclaves, industry visits, and boot camps. These uh, services include annual online assessment and 360 degrees feedback. As of today, 91% of the graduating batch, if I'm not mistaken, have been placed with 58 company, companies visiting the campus. The founder and trustees of the Shivnada Foundation and all the faculty, staff, and administrators of the Shivnath University view the university as an investment in India's future. Our collective contribution of financial and human capital to the process of national building. The university has generated tremendous momentum for advancement on an accelerated path towards all-round excellence. It is the collective effort of the faculty, administrative staff, students, and our partners that will get us closer to achieving our dream. Thank you for your support to the university and for joining us for this landmark event.